and you have found my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for visiting. There are well over 400 clips of all things spiritual, and they're based on my clients' questions. If you have a question that's general and that can help many, please send it to me via my website, carolynmolner.com, and it may end up on this channel. Now, some of these topics you may not agree with, and that's okay. Just skip them and go on to the next. These clips are for information only, so I hope you sit back, relax, and enjoy. Thanks for watching. This question is about walk-ins. So an Instagram follower asks, do walk-ins exist as can other, another soul enter the existing soul to complete a contract in the same body? Uh, yes. As a matter of fact, walk-ins do exist. And the way you know them is their personality changes, their mannerism changes, their interests change, uh, behavior, all of that. Um, they still look the same, but they're acting very differently. Um, they may love chocolate cake one day and just will not have it the next, you know. Lasagna might have been a favorite, mm -mm, not anymore, not interested. Might have been a meat eater, mm -mm, not interested anymore. These kinds of uh, quirky behaviors are, are indicators that it could be a walk-in. Usually what happens is the person who is walking out, they agree to it. They are not taken over without their wanting it. It could be that their life is so difficult or uh, that they have a hard time or they have um, difficulties being on a blind planet like Earth because this is a very hard place to learn our lessons. Um, so they just opt out. And if there's a, another soul willing, there is a understanding between the two that the second will come in. Now, the second one looks after their own contract, not the soul of the person who left. Okay, so it's completely different. The soul that leaves has not completed their contract and they will in, in another lifetime, perhaps in another place. Um, whereas this one, the second one coming in, the walk-in, um, will complete their own. I read this in the 80s by, uh, there's a book called Strangers Among Us by Ruth Montgomery. Man, that what an eye-opening book that was. I don't know whether you can get it anymore, but um, yeah, she wrote about that a long, long time ago. And I do believe there is truth to it.